Hey guys and welcome to another polymer clay tutorial. Today we are going to create the fish steak skin from Fortnite. One of my favorite skins, one of your favorite skins with bootstraps. <laughs> This is the fish stick skin. Well, the blueprint. In water, in reverse playback, and this is the blueprint. Let's get started. Wait, something is different. This is different paper. Hmm. No, it's not about the paper. There is something on the table. <gasps> Spider. Ooh, this is the wrong spot to be. We are doing some clay tutorials on this table. Gotcha. Now that we have a pet on our table, let's get started. We are going to create the fish stick skin. One of my favorite skins, but also one of your favorite skins. This is how we are going to start this difficult skin. Oops. It doesn't really look difficult because it has only two or three colors, main colors. But as you can see, the legs and also the arms are pretty, pretty thin. Let's get started with the main colors and we try to get this color gradient onto our creation. And therefore, we need some ochre, we need some white, and we will mix these. This is our base color for the color gradient. We mix in some yellow in the upper part, some orange in the lower part, and later we will use also some red. In today's video I will also read some of your stories, fan-made stories, the background information of the fish stick skin if you have ever wondered how the fish stick skin got his arms and legs or why he was invited into Atlantis, the secret city. Well, in today's video I will read your stories. If you want me to read out your background stories just make sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook and just write your stories under the images I will post about the characters. What about the spider? Do you want to escape? No? Okay. Oh, this poor guy. Or we invent our own sitcom with a spider. And this spider would always watch us create on the table. And later we would create some beautiful furnitures for Freddy. Well, that's ridiculous. Let's get back to the creation, the fish stick kip skin. Look at that nice color gradient. And now it's time I would like to share the very first story. This one was posted on Instagram by Clay Art and Co. One day two weird scientists invented a machine which should repair broken legs or arms. A little boy with a broken leg came with his animal, which was a fish, to the scientists and wanted of course to be healed. But then, what a pity, he fell down in front of the machine and the fish was thrown into the machine. <gasps> the machine beeped and there were strange sounds, big explosion, the scientists, the boy was killed. Suddenly, the fish realized he now had arms and legs. Oh! Now, it's time for our sitcom, <laughs> Freddy the Spider. Yeah, I already mentioned it. We should really build some furniture for this guy. Thanks a lot, Clay Art and Co. for the amazing story. I really like that one. And now we should give Freddy a flat screen. Maybe half an inch? Yeah, half an inch. If you can recognize what I am putting onto the screen, write it down in the comments. I'm curious if anyone can read that. And maybe we should make like a beautiful plant, some decoration, a swimming pool. Yeah, just casual. A ladder so that he don't fall into the water. Oh yeah, we should make a life belt. Just want to be sure. Okay, now it's time to move. Hop, hop, come on. Freddy, other direction. This, yeah, this is your new home. Look how happy he is now. 
Let's get back to our creation while Freddy is watching, of course. I wanted to create the hands out of the same color, because otherwise the color gradient would have not worked well. And this is quite difficult to somehow manage it, not to break these tiny, tiny fingers. And we are ready to go into the oven! Freshly baked fish stick! Oh, this even makes sense. <laughs> this is so cruel. Now we take the head out of the same color and maybe we should adjust the wire just a little bit. It already looks like the head. This is amazing. This skin, this head is made so easily. You just add some white clay for the eyes. And while we are preparing the face, I would really love to share another story which you created. This one was posted by Julian on Twitter. There was once an experiment. Ah, another experiment. Look at that. To make fishes breathe air. Most of the experiments failed and they had only one fish left. And his name was Fish Stick. In a stormy night, the experiment was almost a complete success until a lightning struck the electricity, causing a malfunction and adding human DNA to the experiment. The fish was mutating, having legs and arms, and then there was a flash of light. The experiment was a success, but the fish was a human and was able to speak human language. The fish asked who he was and the scientists were scared but said, your name is Fish Stick. <laughs> and the fish now goes by the name of Fish Stick. The fish who was mutated into human and can breathe air. I like that one. Thanks a lot. Meanwhile, we have already prepared the clothing, the fabric on Fish Stick. And this is how it is created. It's quite easy. Looks like a swimming suit somehow. We have these fins on the side of the leg. This is a little bit difficult to create, but here we go. I just make these shapes, adding it to the suit, and I try to hide the gaps with the modeling tool, and it already looks nice. Maybe we should make the butt a little bit bigger, because it's the fish stick skin with a big butt, of course. And now we add some wrinkles to the fabric that it looks more authentic. What about the spider, Freddy? No, still don't want to go. Well, it looks quite comfy there. <laughs> We should really create our own sitcom. I would like to share another story. This one was posted on Instagram in a city called Atlantis. A young interesting fish named Fish Stick stood by the, stood by the castle, hoping that someday he would be able to enter when he is older. He always struggled because he was unique when compared to the other fishings like Nemo. One night he heard a boom and came from coming from the castle and rushed over to see what was the matter. A huge monster was attacking the castle, but what could a young fish stick do? He applied the skills and knowledge of fishing that he learned from his parents and lured the monster to a cavern far away from the city. When he came back, everyone was standing outside the castle, clapping for him. The king offered him a tour of the castle and young fish stick couldn't believe it. Now to this day, he has been declared as the monster tamer guardian, swimming around town with his fins, finding monsters and luring them out. Fish stick is his name and he is no ordinary fish. Thank you so much, Bella Beer on Instagram. And now let's create the head of the fish stick. Oh, bonjour. <laughs> this head was quite easy to create, but somehow I really liked it because it was that easy, but looked quite nice on this skin. We have these dark brown leather stripes around, around the neck, for example, and also on the sides. They reminded me of ears, but of course it's just the closing... No, it's not the closing mechanism. It's for protection, protecting the ears, I assume. And we have the top, 
of this head. It's created just like that and it looks like, what does it look like? A bag? Yeah, probably a bag. The fish stick skin made this out of a bag. Look at that! And we can start working on bootstraps! This is one, I think, one of the top five um, harvesting tools. <laughs> the axe in Fortnite because I really like the design. We have this shoe, we have this red pot, and we have, um, well, this fishing design with a hook right at the end. This is how I created the wooden stick with a very, very dirty color gradient and getting in some wooden details. This is a tiny bag which is hanging right at the top. So we will place it right there and then we can start working on the hook which is a silver blue. I try to mix it just throwing in some blue you have just seen that and then we are just smashing together different colors and making this dirty dirty gray silver gray for the shoe. The old shoe which was probably found on the bottom of a lake. <laughs> An old lake, of course. And we will stick it onto the wire. Yeah, this one was a bit difficult to create, but I figured out a way to, to make it work in a way. The pot as well. We will stick it right onto and then working on the lid, the red one and all the stripes, the tiny details on this harvesting tools which makes it so lovable, yeah. And we have another stripe around the pot, another one, stripes over stripes. <laughs> bootstraps, it's called bootstraps, right? Yeah, on the shoes as well. Bootstripes, it should be called bootstripes. And this is the last clay modeling working step for today. We will put everything right onto the plate and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked fish stick and bootstraps. And what about Freddy? He's watching us. Hi. <laughs> okay, no reaction at all. Let's take some pens. I really hope that no one is afraid of spiders in today's video. I haven't thought about that. Sorry for everyone who made this feel uncomfortable. We take some blue for the decoration on the pot as well. We have some black for the filling because I somehow forgot that to put in some black clay. We make the shoe a little bit more dirty with this gray pen, also the stick. And look at that, the silver pen highlights the tiny details, maybe also the hook. Look at that, it looks so beautiful, so beautiful. Hey Freddy, look at me, I'm so beautiful. Oh well, there's one last working step missing. This is the transparent polish. Not only for the eyes, but I will also make it all over the body. And guys, I guess that's it. The fish stick skin and bootstraps. And now everyone wants to know what's happening with Freddy. Hey, Freddy! Come on, I set you free! Wah, wah, where are you going? Jump! Yeah! I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know which skin I should create next, what I should create next. Let me know, write it down in the comments. I guess that's it for today. Have a great weekend and take care guys. Bye. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. No spiders were harmed in the making of this video. Now you want to know what's going on with Freddy. Well, he's living in the studio right now somewhere. Maybe is growing bigger?